At Jamf, we recognize preparing for remote learning might be a challenge as educators work to engage and connect with students and parents during the, these unprecedented times. We believe this is a joint effort that combines the minds of teachers, students, and parents to work together as a team. But we also recognize each student is their own individual learner with personalized needs. So thank you for joining us for the five top tips for remote learning. My name is Nick, and I'm the Business Development Engineer at Jamf, specifically focused on education and covering the EMEA region. I've been at Jamf for over four years, and prior to then, I trained as a teacher of computer science, teaching secondary or K-12 level. Our mission is to help organizations succeed with Apple. We firmly believe in the Apple ecosystem, and for 18 years, we have dedicated ourselves to this mission. We also have three objectives that branch from our mission that are directly related to education. And these are to empower all students with the best learning opportunity, helping teachers educate with classroom tools that just work. And finally, student-centered learning that is active, personal, and equitable, both inside and outside of the classroom with Jamf support. We have an entire product portfolio designed to help us with our mission. Jamf Connect delivers streamlined Mac authentication and identity management, leveraging credentials from a cloud-based identity provider to provision and authenticate onto a device. We have the most comprehensive portfolio of Apple management products in the market. Jamf Now helps small and growing organizations manage their devices, while Jamf School helps educators spend less time managing technology and more time investing in their classrooms. Jamf Pro is the gold standard in Apple management and helps some of the largest and most successful companies on the planet oversee their Apple ecosystem. Jamf Protect is an endpoint security solution purpose-built for the Mac that gives enterprise security teams unprecedented visibility into their entire fleet of macOS devices. And finally, Jamf Nation, which is the largest online community of Apple administrators with over 100,000 active members. After our best year in education in 2019, Jamf acquired Netherlands-based ZuluDesk, doubling down on our commitment to education all over the world. ZuluDesk was built by and within a school with the goal of fewer distractions, better learning, providing tools educators can use inside and outside of the classroom, while also providing tools for parents to use at home as well. This acquisition provided Jamf with a broader set of education technology solutions to serve schools of any size and complexity. Our commitment to our customers is to provide same day support for the Apple ecosystem. Unlike other platforms, Apple ships a brand new version of their operating system each year. And unlike these other platforms, the users want to update and take full advantage of all of the rich new features available in that release. We at Jamf want you to be safe in the knowledge that your management solution is prepared for these updates the moment they ship from Apple. A bit of reassurance from our company in the education space is that we are the industry leader. Today, more than 14,000 schools rely on Jamf to manage 10 million Apple devices. We are found in six of the top 10 US school districts and help 112 of the 114 Connect Ed schools. But more importantly, we empower over 7 million teachers and students with our software worldwide. Jamf knows now more than ever, administrators, teachers, and parents need help with remote learning. Today, we will cover five top tips for empowering teachers for remote learning. We will cover setting expectations for teachers and students, facilitate discussions daily that are engaging and inspiring, promoting peer-to-peer -peer learning, how to offer active learning, as well as leveraging apps and games. So let's get started. 
in a virtual education environment, setting expectations that are clear and fair for both teachers and students is key. Communication is essential before, during and after the class. Students still require the same structure and material that was required when they were in the school in this remote environment. Telling them what is expected before each class, week and day is essential to success. A set schedule for deliverables and participation weekly is helpful in setting expectations and for students to master a virtual environment. Ensuring parental support is there is critical. Parents need to be informed of the student expectations and deadlines. Assignments will be done in a virtual environment, but they are as critical to learning objectives as they were in a face-to-face -face classroom environment. As families adjust to working and learning out of their homes together, enforcing this schedule can be a challenge, especially when parents or guardians have their own responsibilities to attend to. Both Jamf Pro and Jamf School support the Jamf Parent app, which helps parents enforce proper device use. The ability to toggle features and apps on a schedule provides students full device access when it's needed and a more focused experience when it's not. For parents that are uh, seeing these devices come from home for the first time, it's reassuring to know uh, there are ways to ensure they're being used as tools and not distractions. And the pairing process is Bluetooth and QR code based, so there is no need for IT to manage rosters of parent information as well. Consider this example. Let's say for the first hour of the morning, it's going to be time for a student to focus on maths. A parent or guardian can enable app lock. This will lock the child into an, a maths app of their choice for a selected amount of time to keep them focused on the subject they're working on. At the end of the specified amount of time, the app will self-release, returning the device to the normal configuration. The number one concern of teaching virtually is keeping students engaged. Daily engagement is essential as it is personal communication with students. Students need to feel the presence of the teacher and also their encouragement. By keeping conversations inspiring and engaging and asking open-ended questions, a connection with the student is easier. Anytime group discussion can be facilitated, just like in the classroom, it fosters a sense of community for students who may feel disconnected. Facilitating engaging conversations can be very simple when we consider the essential exchanges, teacher to student, teacher to parent, and student to student. All uh, are all essential interpersonal communication chains that must take place virtually, just like they did in a face-to-face -face setting. Let's talk about how we do this with Jamf School. Jamf School includes a collection of apps for management, including Jamf Teacher, which is used for classroom management. Teachers can create lesson profiles, communicate with students, and restrict the use of websites, apps, and other functions. Jamf Parent gives parents the ability to guide their children's use of apps and features on school-issued iPads, with the aim of keeping kids focused on educational tasks and homework. Parents can also schedule access based on the days and times of the week, saving from having to constantly monitor usage. The Jamf Student app gives children the ability to install apps and pre-approved by the school. The apps can also be used to communicate with teachers, store documents in their own personal iCloud drive and other functions. Jamf School enables administrators, teachers and students to benefit from the Jamf School apps. Jamf just released a very timely feature around immediate communication support for students in Jamf School, which we call Raise a Hand. It allows a student to deploy a message immediately to a teacher and receive a message faster. This works well in the new environment by allowing better communication while fostering engagement and support, both of which build confidence in the student. This is just one way Jamf helps in virtual learning. Beyond Jamf Teacher, Apple provides great tools for communication iMessage and FaceTime support one-to-one -one as well as group communication. 
with all the support for rich media, emojis, memojis you'd expect from Apple. School leveraging managed Apple IDs can decide to enable this for teachers and students. Beyond Jamf and Apple solutions, there are a variety of popular apps that provide teacher, student and parent communication in safe and secure ways. As always, it's important to research tools before deploying. Make sure all parties are trained and have support resources. Keeping students connected to the content and other students is key. Teachers can build into lessons the possibility of student collaboration through FaceTime and other apps. As adults, we know teamwork is critical to success at work. Students see it as fun to work on group projects and conversations virtually. Anytime a teacher can incorporate the asking of thoughts and opinions in an open question way, the students can open up. Keeping students connected is critical. There are an incredible number of tools available for students to participate in digital uh, group uh, projects. While Google Docs was the first live collaboration tool many had exposure to, Apple, Microsoft, and Google all have rich productivity suites that work great on mobile. Collaboration is now included as standard feature on all of these platforms. Documents, presentations, and spreadsheets are typical tools we think about for collaboration. But it's important to remember Apple offers more than that. iMovie Clips and GarageBand are creation tools that students can use to create and assemble content. A group of students could use all of the tools to create animations, scripts, soundtracks, voiceovers, and a movie poster collaborati uh, collaboratively from the safety of their home and the comfort of their iPad. The previously mentioned Managed Apple ID provides an ample amount of storage for all of these creative projects. The Apple Teacher Program is a free badge-based learning system that gives educators the training and inspiration they need to come up with memorable projects. Looking at technology as an experience is beneficial. iPads are tools for learning when coupled with apps that encourage learning and the development of skills. A look at popular culture shows us how popular coding is currently. Make sure you are incorporating timely skills and tools in your class. Lesson plans on these topics are often found online in Apple Teacher. Use videos as much as possible to keep everyone engaged in these topics. Let's describe what synchronous learning is to set up. For teachers that do decide to offer some amounts of virtual synchronous learning, there are ways that Jamp Teacher can help. Jamp Teacher app can restrict visible apps to a predefined list on a schedule. This classroom management tool is unique in that it is network-based and will work perfectly for students with an internet connection at home. So let's set the scene. Let's say a fifth grade teacher was getting ready for the first week check-in to make uh, sure their students are adapting as well as maintain a personal connection. Prior to the scheduled meeting, they can ensure that all students have the proper apps installed on their device directly from the Jamp Teach app. In addition, they can create a lesson in Jamf School ahead of time, which is a collection of the apps, websites, and settings required for any particular activity. When it's time for the lesson to start, the apps are not required for activity will be automatically disappear from view, leaving a device ready for the FaceTime she's about to initiate, and with multitasking features of iPad OS, both teacher and student can seamlessly participate in the video stream, as well as the specific apps being discussed. No two lessons are the same, and Jamp Teacher offers the flexibility for each educator to decide how to best implement technology. Students are natural gamers and love games due to the love of technology and competition with themselves and each other. They feel a sense of achievement when earning points and passing levels in games. Healthy competition can promote engagement and learning. Using an iPad is a great gaming platform. Let's look closer at what this involves. There are three ways to think about the role that games play within your school. 
The first is game-based learning. These are engaging apps that inherently provide all the educational content, but they are presented as games. A new category of apps revolves around gamified education. These types of activities add gaming elements to existing content. Students can earn points, badges, and other rewards for completing tasks or engaging with content. This type of learning supports competitive learners, so it's important to consider teams. And the last is games as a reward. Playing games on the iPad is fun. Teachers or parents might want the ability to reward positive behavior. There is an abundance of resources to be found in the App Store and online to support game-based learning and gamified education. Before listing any, I want to remind everyone that there is never an appropriate time to disregard student data privacy recommendations and to please perform due diligence on any app or service that you put in front of your students. With that out the way, here are some examples of apps to explore. The open world of Minecraft is a great space to explore STEM concepts such as chemistry, geometry, sustainability, city planning, and more. Prodigy is a maths video game that has students practice their skills in an engaging way and offers battles against the computer and other similar leveled students. There is almost no end to the education content available on iPad. Gamified education is a growing category of apps that takes advantage of students' desire to earn points and level up. Implementations vary depending on the goals, but Kahoot is a great example of a platform that takes the idea of quiz or review and gamifies it by adding points and an optional timing element. Class Dojo, an app that we mentioned also, has a point system for individuals, groups, and even parents. If we have built an environment where game-based learning and gamified education are strong, students will likely ask to spend time in these apps to further explore and overachieve. Beyond that, it's okay to have a few fun games, as long as expectations are set and tools like Jamf Parent and Jamf Teacher can guide when the behavior is appropriate and remove it from individual students if needed. So that covers setting expectations for teachers and students, facilitate discussions daily that are engaging and inspiring, promoting peer-to-peer -peer learning, offering active learning, and leveraging apps and games. All of the items discussed today require a mobile device management solution like Jamf Pro or Jamf School. Both are capable of providing functionality for deploying all of the education-focused apps discussed today, along with the Jamf Parent and Jamf Teacher apps. If you check jamf.com website for the amazing tools we developed for you to empower remote learning and learn and in this virtual environment. We produced eBooks and posted timely blog articles to help you, your schools and students. And we offer free trials of Jamf School. While we've highlighted many resources in the web today's webinar, I wanted to take a moment to direct anyone on the call to explore the capabilities of Jamf Pro or Jamf School by requesting a free trial today. Scanning these QR codes will take you direct to jamf.com to begin the process. And I'd now like to open it up for any questions um, that have been put in the Q&A window. So one question I have is, are the features of Jamf School also integrated in Jamf Pro? There are many features that you'll find across both products. Uh, for example, uh, we have the parent app available in both Jamf Pro and Jamf School. That doesn't mean that every single feature will be available across our entire product range, but there are a lot of similarities and a lot of crossover. The best thing to do would be to reach out uh, to one of my colleagues or to contact us through jamf.com to learn about each of the products. I'm just going to... I'm just going to give everyone a moment to ask a few more questions. I have a few more coming through now. I've been asked if this webinar will be made available in Spanish. 
Um, I'm afraid currently at this time it will be in English, French and German only. I've also been asked if this is uh, only possible with Apple devices and absolutely um, we are Apple focused uh, management solution and device uh, based solution so we're completely focused on the Apple ecosystem. I've also been asked if we have any training videos on uh, how to use uh, Jamf Parents and Jamf Teacher. Uh, yes, there is a, a training platform uh, called trainingcatalog.jamf.com uh, where you can access training resources um, on both platforms, Jamf Pro and Jamf School, and incorporates uh, the apps as well. Uh, we also have lots of information available in our Get Started Quick Guides and the Administrator Guides, which are online. Uh, I've also been asked about being able to uh, whitelist applications or blacklist applications in AppLock, for example. I'm not entirely sure uh, the question, but that is possible if we look at, say, Teach App, for example. Um, and if you'd like to do AppLock, uh, we can actually uh, lock an iPad into multiple applications, not just a single app. Uh, so you could select, say, the top three or five apps that are required for that lesson, and only those applications would be in, uh, shown on the iPad at that time. Uh, so I believe that functionality is, is already in there. Uh, are there any plans to add Teach App to Jamf Pro? Uh, great question. Uh, watch this space. Uh, it's very much in our development roadmap at the moment. Uh, I've been asked around pricing uh, for Jamf Pro. Uh, if you're interested in pricing for either of our products or for any of the products mentioned, um, I can direct you to uh, sales at jamfschool.com and uh, you can ask the question and my colleagues will respond as soon as possible for that. And I've also been asked uh, about the Parents app. Can it only be used by parents with an iOS device? Uh, no, we actually have a web-based portal for the Parents app uh, so that any parent with a Android or a, a different uh, you know, laptop device, anything with a web browser, uh, they are able to actually manage those iPads as well. They'll get all the same features and functionality they'd get from the Parents app, but through a web-based portal. And I'll also add that goes for the teachers as well. If a teacher doesn't have an iPad or a Mac device, they can also go through a web browser for the Teach app to manage those iPads, create their lessons and classes. Uh, so I've also been asked about whether this is a cloud-based solution and if it's suited for distance learning rather than on-site solution. Absolutely. Jamf Pro is available as an on-premise solution and as a cloud solution in our Jamf Cloud, uh, but we also uh, have Jamf School and that is available as a cloud solution only. Um, I've also been asked specifically about the apps currently. Um, because the branding at the moment is with Zulu Desk apps. You'll notice within Namir that the apps are referenced as Zulu Desk Teacher, Zulu Desk Parent, and Zulu Desk Student. Uh, in the US, they are already branded as Jamf Parent, Teacher, and Student. And when will this happen within Namir? Uh, this is scheduled to happen. There are a lot of dependencies before we can change the name. You'll still see some of the original branding in the URL and in the apps. Um, and thankfully, we uh, do have a roadmap to have these changed and we will communicate this uh, as soon as that happens.